It was revealed last year that Ima Hernandez, the contractor who owns that company and who is also the nephew of the Deputy Prime Minister, was allegedly paid 200000 in February 2012 to pave the San Antonio Road in Orange Walk. That road never got paved. Because the first mile of the road was a fiasco and the contractor was the Deputy Prime Minister's nephew, Emer Hernandez. That was clearly not properly done. Mr. Hernandez claimed that some engineer made a huge mistake. A work has already started on Faber's Road, where the contractor, Emir Hernandez Development Company Limited, is being paid a shade under $8 million to reconstruct just over a mile of the battered roadway. Really and truly, there is nothing in that piece of road that can cost $8 million. No way you look at it. This is crazy craziness. If the people allow this to happen, then we deserve whatever the politicians give us. Motorists who use the road daily say that there is no sign warning drivers that this part of the highway has loose gravel. It's also a redo job after the first surface, which was done by Emir Hernandez Development Company, hardly lasted a few months. But for the UDP Town Council and Mayor Hilberto Campos, none of that scandalous history has mattered over the past 12 years. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have been paid exclusively to Imer Hernandez's company for street works, even as recent as last year. Imer Hernandez is a, very is a good friend of the Corozal Town Council. He's going to be the one that will be facilitating the Corozal Town Council with these streets. His company's name was called, in which they are saying he didn't um, pave roads that he was paid for. Whatever is said about him, and if it is not proven in court, I cannot take that for granted. Why do you think Campos and the UDP Town Council prefer to feed Gaspar Vega's rich contractor nephew from Benke instead of give the opportunity to Corozalenos? This Imer Hernandez is a friend of the Corozal Town Council. On March 7th, say no to corruption and political favoritism. On March 7th, send the UDP a message and vote for change.